South Korea warned that North Korea's use of nuclear weapons would put it on a path of self-destruction, as it would face an overwhelming response by the South Korea-US military alliance. In fact, South Korean defense officials are currently in Washington for a session of the Extended Deterrence Strategy and Consultation Group, where they will discuss taking concrete steps to enhance the credibility of the US's Extended Deterrence Program. Meanwhile, South Korea's ruling People Power Party has called on the opposition to get behind a joint resolution against North Korea's refusal to give up on its nuclear weapons development program. These developments come just days after North Korea passed a law that affirms its right to use preemptive nuclear strikes, with Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un declaring that the country's nuclear status is now irreversible. In fact, the IAEA reported that there are indications that Pyongyang is continuing to enrich uranium at its Yongbyon nuclear site. North Korea has already launched over 30 missiles this year, including six ICBMs. South Korean and US intelligence both believe that it has already completed preparations for its first nuclear test since 2017.